Hey everyone, I'm Moses Leos, and this is the Hayes Free Press Sports Roundup preview to the playoffs. On Friday morning, the Hayes baseball and softball teams held a pep rally in support for their upcoming playoff series this weekend. After the festivities, we had a chance to catch up with both head coaches to get with their take on what is needed to advance. First, here is baseball head coach David Knoll, who leads his Rebels against perennial powerhouse Corpus Christi Moody in the regional semifinals. And we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to throw a great game. Woody's really going to have to pitch, and we're going to have to make all the plays, not give them any more than 21 out. And then every time that, we have, uh, that we're at the plate, we're going to have to have quality at bats. They have a heck of a pitcher, and we're just going to have to stay focused, stay short, do what we've done all year, not let the, you know, how big the game is get to us. Well, who are some of the players that which people should key on for this weekend of which – well, which will make a big impact for your team. Well, I hate to say that because they all need to make an impact. You know, they uh, every single one of them. We've, we've got to make plays all you know, uh, all over the field. And uh, but the pitching, pitching is is always a big deal. So if you had to pick one guy, you know, it would probably be Tyler. Tyler needs to have a good ball game. Needs to hit his spots. He needs to throw strikes and stay ahead of people. And if he does that, we'll be fine. And preparation during this week, what's it been like getting ready for this Moody team? Um, actually, we try. We have a routine, and, and we've uh, we've had a lot of media attention. We've had uh, newspapers come out, television. Uh, so what we've we've just tried to maintain our routine as much as we possibly can, and I think our focus has been outstanding. Um, and we, you know, we talked about the fact earlier in the year. I said as. As we go along and as we have some success, we're going to get some of that attention. And uh, so let's stay hungry and let's stay humble. And I think the kids, have done, uh, the young men, have done a great job with that. All right. Congratulations, Coach, and good luck tonight. Thank right? you very much. All right. Thank you. For all y'all did. 2013 marks the fourth time in program history the Rebels have advanced to the regional semifinal round. Making history remains the theme for the Lady Rebels softball team as they continue to blaze their way through the playoffs. Here is head coach Aaron Fuller giving insight on their upcoming series against Leander. Okay, so um, this is the Leander team coming in. They're a pretty good squad, but you played them before. How do you how do you play them now that you've seen what they what they can do? I mean, we don't we really aren't going to approach it much differently uh, than any other game that we've played throughout the playoffs. We know they're going to be ready for us. There's no doubt about that. And so we just got to make sure that we keep doing what we do. We get, we got to keep focusing. And we've got to keep executing, and we've got to keep pitching and playing solid defense like we've been doing throughout the playoffs. If we do that stuff, things will take care of themselves. But uh, but there's no doubt Leander's going to be ready. And, the, you know, the game that we played earlier in the year means absolutely nothing at this point. Anything can happen, and we've got to make sure that we take care of our business in order to advance. What's the preparation been like this week? What have, we, have you done anything different? Have you guys been on the same, kind of the same routine? Or? Nothing's been different. The kids, the kids are on a routine, and so we stay on a routine throughout the week uh, just to make sure that they stay comfortable. And, uh, and so we, we've been doing the same things we've been doing, working hard, and uh, we've had some good practices, and so now we're ready to go. We've just been real anxious all week. All right. Sarah's obviously one of the big components for your team, the fact that she's done really well. Who else needs to step up, or who else do you think will be a big factor in this series? Uh, I mean, it's going to be the entire, the entire defense. You know, like it's been the last couple of weeks, Dripping Springs and, uh, and Moody. Sarah's, Sarah's pitched well, but the defense has played excellent behind her, and we're going to need to keep that up if we want to advance. So, uh, so I'm, I, I mean, I can't single out any one player. You know, I mean, we're talking this is a whole team effort, and the defense needs to continue to do what they've been doing the last few weeks. All right. And congratulations on your time, and uh, good luck this week. I appreciate it. Fuller and the Lady Rebels are now one step away from making the state tournament in Austin. Should they do so, they will become the first team since the 2009 Lady Rebel basketball team under Donnie McDonald to play in the state tournament. So here are the locations for both playoff series. Baseball will play all three games with Moody at San Antonio Burbank High School on, with Game 1 on Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Games 2 and 3 will be a part of a doubleheader on Saturday with first pitch at 4 o'clock. Softball plays their three-game series with Leander at Elgin High School with Game 1 slated for Friday at 7 o'clock in the evening. Games 2 and 3 will be played as a doubleheader on Saturday beginning at noon. For more information, be sure to check back on our website, www.hayesfreepress.com. You can also like us on Facebook or get updates via Twitter. For the Sports Roundup, I'm Moses Lance.